prosecutors and defense attorneys have tried to seat a jury in a murder case against a man accused of killing his girlfriend's young daughter and trying to make it look like a suicide. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live with what happened in court today. Cody. And Janice, just a heinous crime here. Prosecutors will argue that this man stabbed this little girl to death, all because the girl told her mother to break up with him. Jury selection continuing for a man accused of a brutal murder of a child. You will have to make a personal and individualized moral decision about whether this individual will live or die. The state and defense questioning potential jurors about their opinions on the death penalty and whether they may be able to impose it should they find 51-year-old Miguel Ruiz Lobo guilty. What that means is that this was not a swift and painless death. What it means is that the victim suffered. Ruiz Lobo allegedly stabbed 11-year-old Martha Guzman to death before slashing her wrist to make it appear that she had committed suicide in 2014. But he allegedly slashed her wrist far deeper than any suicide victim could, and he did it all, police say, because the little girl had convinced her mother to break up with him. Attorneys revealing that the state will argue that Ruiz Lobo deserves to die because of the heinous and cruel nature of the crime, since his alleged victim was a young child, and since he also burglarized the home. The legal definition uses words such as vile, wicked, evil. It is the kind of murder where the victim suffers greatly, where the suffering is inflicted intentionally, and it's even possible that the defendant derives some pleasure from the victim's suffering. The defense mentioning they may use Ruiz Lobo's childhood living in poverty as a reason to spare his life. And the state is going to have some pretty solid evidence in this case. It includes a surveillance video of Ruiz Lobo going into this home. Also, that little girl's DNA was found under his fingernails. We expect jury selection will finish up on Monday. Then opening statements of the trial will, will begin on April 3rd. We're live in Miami. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.